Hi, everybody. Hope you had a good day. Uh, today, for the most part, on this Monday, played out the same way the last couple of days have. I think tomorrow and Tuesday plays out very similar. I continue to be very, very interested and intrigued on snow chances at lowest elevations, including Portland, Salem, and Vancouver, on Wednesday morning. And, and that's what I'm going to be getting into. I'm meteorologist Rod Hill. I come to you from the uh, Portland, uh, Oregon, Vancouver, Washington area. So on the left, this is the American GFS model. This is tomorrow morning, Tuesday. See the big low? So get your bearings. Here we are inland, Portland. Here's the big low sitting offshore. Where you see the green, that's some decent depth of moisture. doesn't mean it's a ton of moisture, but it means that you've got some moisture saturation. And where you see the white, you don't have anything. So there's kind of this dry little wedge of moisture up in the Portland. I mean, the total moisture today out of PDX again was only 0 0.01 hundreds, practically nothing, right? That heavier moisture that has dumped snow in Southern Oregon is starting to push off more to the east. But this low, while it's going to drop a little bit southward, doesn't show much movement and the overall weather pattern doesn't show much change all the way through Thursday, except for there's reason to believe that Wednesday morning will have a little run of increasing precipitation more widespread, perhaps heavier than what we have been seeing. So notice the difference. Tomorrow morning, Tuesday, pretty quiet. Maybe a flurry, maybe a raindrop, pretty quiet morning. Notice we got some drier air moving in. Here's Wednesday in contrast. See the, the darker green? There's like these little waves of moisture that are coming in. So that's what I'm talking about. And could that be enough to drive temperatures down to freezing and we would have some snow in the Portland area? So this is uh, what meteorologists refer to as the buff kit. It's a product out of Iowa State University, which is kind of interesting. And what I've done, I've circled down here on the timeline, Wednesday morning. So this is the AM hours of Wednesday. And if you look at the, this is Portland, just look at the spikes. See, this gives us the chance of some flurries or dusting of snow, none of which has really come true. But look at what happens Wednesday. Boom, a sharp spike of one inch, two inches, three inches. This shows you different weather models. So clearly some of the models go just nuts. But generally speaking, look at the, the bite and moisture. So the point of this is, if we're going to have moisture that's deeper, that hits us in the morning hours when temperatures are going to be closest to freezing, and we're going to have some snow collecting on the ground where we have traffic issues and it's a mess, if that's going to happen, it's going to happen Wednesday morning, which is what this indicates. So that's the point of that. Now, take a look at the National Blended Model. This is the tabular forecast text that we look at as forecasters. So, for example, this is everything's in London time, by the way. So 30 degrees tomorrow morning to 32. Now, the reality is we've had enough cloudiness the last handful of mornings that the lows have been warmer. I mean, it was 36 this morning. It was 37 Sunday morning. It was 38 Saturday morning. So Portland hasn't even gotten down to freezing. Good grief. The models keep giving us these temperatures of 30, 32. So we'll see. If the cloudiness is fairly thick, we'll probably be warmer. And then tomorrow, 43, kind of about where we've been. Look at the chances of moisture. 28%, 8%, 11%, 30% chance. That's a pretty dry day once again. Look what happens Wednesday. Again, the models give us 30, 32. But... It will be overcast. So is it possible that we're going to be 35, 36 degrees Wednesday morning? Yeah, it's possible. But if the model's right and we're closer to 32, here are the moisture pops increasing. 38, 74, 83% chance of moisture. Now, one thing to point out, this brings us moisture a little bit later into the morning. I mean, 18Z is 10 o'clock in the morning. So, you know, the timing is somewhat suspect. But look at the chances of snow, 32% chance of whatever falls. Basically, this is the pop. It's saying there's a 32% chance of snow, which is basically the, the percentage chance for any moisture. And then that increases in the morning, mid-morning to a 61% chance. And then the chance drops off to 36% because during the day, now we're warming up the 36 degrees late morning, and we'd probably transition into anything out there being rain. So, again... Could it be warmer than 32 if it's cloudy? Yes. Could the moisture, the thick enough moisture to really produce a problem be delayed and not hit us until 9, 10, 11 o'clock in the morning when temperatures warm up? Yes. But it's certainly possible.
It's certainly possible that we're close to freezing 32. Moisture comes in and we have several hours of snow that could drop a dusting to one to two to three inches of snow across the North Valley, maybe Salem as well, into Portland. So just that's my biggest message. I'm watching Wednesday morning. Okay. This cold snow level pattern, which has basically been near sea level at night, depending on surface temperatures, to 500 feet and even a little bit higher during the day as ground temperatures warm up to about, or not ground, but surface temperatures warm up to about 40 degrees. That pattern doesn't show any changes through Friday. But Wednesday morning, when we have a chance to have a lower snow level, that moisture could come in. Right now, I've got Saturday snow level rising up to 1,200 feet, but it looks like it would come back down on Sunday. So most of the days upcoming, with the exception of Wednesday, look to be very light scattered shower activity. Wednesday, no matter how it plays out, is the best chance if you're going to be outdoors for it to be pretty active, okay? All of this brought to you by the Momentous Wealth Podcast. You can listen to a variety of investment topics on Apple Podcasts and on Spotify, brought to you by a local firm. Okay, quick check. We had snow this morning on this camera in Hood River. It was light snow, but that melted during the day. We had snow. I think this is about 600 feet. I'm not positive. It might be higher. This is high in the hills in Gresham, Persimmon Country Club. They had a little bit of snow today, but nothing right now. Sun River's had snow on the ground for a long time, and they've, they're getting some decent accumulations. We've had snow on the ground for quite a while now at the Mount Hood Oregon Resort off of Highway 26 up in Walters on the, the way to Mount Hood. There's some snow in the Sisters area, light stuff that looks like. The, all the gorge snow we had this morning is melted. And there's some pretty, there's a pretty sunset shot from the Inn at Ottercrest. Look at that camera. That's Lincoln County looking to the south. Really pretty. Okay, so Mount Hood, 20 at Timberline, 26 at Meadows, 23 at Ski Bowl. They only picked up an inch today. Evidence of just light scattered shower activity that even in the mountains only dumped an inch of snow. Practically nothing, right? Still cold enough that the passes continue to be icy and snow covered. Here's government camp. Here is Santiam buried in snow. Well, I'm at buried in snow. Uh, snow roadside, but 84 clean, it looks like, but certainly watch travel conditions if you're traveling out east. And the Siskiyou Summit Camp are currently down, but they had snow um, with that heavier moisture band that went through there. And there's some snow at 1,000 feet in the coast range. So, um, again, not much snow on Mount Hood tomorrow. Flurries to two inches. But four to six inches Wednesday, likely snow, bad travel day. Back to not much of anything Thursday, not much of anything Friday. Better chance of getting some inches of snow on Saturday. Low snow levels continue. The coast range, it's chilly. 37 in Astoria, but 45 in Lincoln City. Here are those coast range cameras. We saw Quartz Creek on the west slope. Here's the highest camera, 1,400 feet on the east slope of the coast range. That shows a temperature of 32 degrees. Clearly, you can see there will be icy spots over the coast range tonight and tomorrow morning with the continued chance of some snow as snow levels continue to be low. Let's get, see what the um, let's see what the forecast models are animating for Wednesday morning precept. This is Wednesday morning. Not worried about tomorrow. Tomorrow some frivolous stuff. Here's Wednesday morning at uh, 4 a.m. Actually, shows likely rain or snow along the coast. This is total moisture. It doesn't tell me if it's rain or snow. I just want to, get, and here's getting in the morning. Now, this doesn't show a whole lot. This is in the morning at 7, 8 o'clock in the morning. Here's later in the morning at 10 a.m. Now it's showing some decent moisture in the area that could still be snow as late as 10 a.m. And then we've still got a wet afternoon, but by that time it would be mainly rain showers unless you're up in elevation, right? Okay, here's the same model. Excuse me, I think I just showed you. That was the GFS American model. Here is the National Blended model, which is not as wet overall. And I want to play this Tuesday. It's, this is just showing you snow. There's the Coast Range. There's heavy snow still in Southern Oregon. That's still going on. Eastern Oregon, five, seven, eight inches of snow. Some frivolous showers up in uh, Central Washington, but not much. Here's Wednesday morning. Keep an eye. All right. This didn't really show anything in the valley. It just shows Coast Range and Cascades, but decent snow amounts, seven inches up in Skamania County, and heavier snow amounts still at elevation, 17 inches in the Southern Oregon Cascades, and some snow down around I-5, potentially in the Northern California. This does show it's mainly wet up I-5 into Seattle. Mm. Okay, so that didn't show much. Let's check another model. This is the American GFS model, just snow. Now, this does show difference in models. This is 10 o'clock Wednesday morning. All of a sudden, 
a little swath of one, two, three inches of snow in the North Valley. So again, that shows it's possible. All right. Let's take a look at the overall pattern. This is, um, oh, let me, let me back it up. I'll, I'll show you. Let me back it up into Wednesday. Okay. Here is, this is the American GFS model. This is Wednesday morning. I know it's hard to see. See the, the brown state outlines. This is the U.S. map. There's Portland right there. There's the Oregon coast. There's California. There's that low offshore. The green, this is kind of a surface map. The green is heightened moisture. So heightened moisture, maybe some snow sticking Wednesday morning. Certainly low snow levels. And let's see here. The low just kind of keeps, not anything overly impressive, but if there's one day that we're going to have a tenth to two tenths of an inch of moisture instead of traceable amounts, it will be Wednesday. Okay. And then Thursday, we get kind of drier. And here's Friday, we get kind of drier. I was concerned about Saturday. There's a little bit of moisture coming down from the northwest, but all of a sudden that looks really weak. See the little specks of green? That's Saturday. Doesn't look like much. Okay, so let's fast forward this into something fun. So Wednesday of next week on the European model, see this low? The European model has this low much stronger and right up near our coast. So on the European model, I'm like, could we have a, a some sort of a, a storm event, some sort, next Wednesday? But the, Europe, the, the American GFS says, well, that storm's still offshore. And notice, see the highs up here? This is all really cold air still pulling down out of Canada. This is a dry southeast wind on the return side, 40, 30, 24, 20. These are still really low snow levels near sea level, certainly at night, early morning. Absolutely snow sticking in the gorge if there was moisture, but this is pretty dry. So I just want to keep playing this. Now that low eventually drops south into Thursday. This is next week, Thursday the 13th, day before Valentine's Day. Here is Valentine's Day on the year, on the American GFS model. This is Valentine's, a week from this coming Friday, the 14th. This would be snow across the southern half of our state. This shows Portland and Salem just on the northern edge of we're either dry or we have snow, but there's increasing snow down into Eugene. All right. So again, and then here's a storm that comes in on the on the American GFS model Sunday, the 16th. This is pretty wet. Still a cold southeast flow. Is that rain or is or in the morning are we cold and we have some snow? So the point of all of that is all the way through the 14th, all the way through the first two weeks of February, two weeks, there's reason to, to really keep updated on the forecast as the overall pattern continues to be cold. Okay, Medford, what, what do we got going on? Highs in the 30s, Tuesday, Wednesday, 40, Thursday, Friday, overnight lows cold, chance of snow and then rain, you know, that's the way it's been. Snow at night, in the morning, rain chances in the afternoon. Ben, we saw that snow in Sun River. Only 34, only 36, only 35 on Thursday. Overnight lows in the teens into the weekend. This does show dry weather on Saturday, Sunday, Monday over there, but it's cold. Okay. All right. Salem, hello. Kind of where temperatures have been. 43, 45, 43, 44 through Friday. Again, I'm watching Wednesday. Notice, look at the precipitation chances. 30% Tuesday, 90% Wednesday, 40% Thursday. Again, Wednesday is the wet day. I'm just not sure how it's going to play out, okay? But Wednesday is the wet day. That's interesting. Here's uh, Pendleton. Hello. Chance of snow Tuesday, dry Wednesday, overnight lows well down to the 20s. Thursday snow chance. Snow likely on Friday, and then you've got a chance of some snow showers of temperatures only just above freezing into the weekend. So that's chilly weather. Seattle, if you haven't seen the news, they've been getting snow. Basically, the majority of showers that have fallen in Seattle over the last handful of days have been snow. Remember, the snow levels are lower as you head north in this particular instance, and their temperatures have been considerably colder than Portland. So we've been in the 40s, but tomorrow, Seattle, 38, Wednesday, 37, overnight lows in the 20s. So that's a much colder snow shower forecast continuing up in Seattle compared to what we have had here in Portland. Let's go down to North Bend, 45, 45, 46, 47, overnight lows around freezing to above daytime highs in the 40s. So that, that's not too bad. All right, here's my Portland seven-day forecast, courtesy of Hazel Del Tire Pros. Snow and rain showers, probably traceable amounts to barely more than that tomorrow, a lot like it was today. I've got a, um, a better chance of seeing some sun tomorrow than we had on this Monday. And then Wednesday, a.m. sticking snow chance could be significant. 
It's in the chance category, not sure, but this will be the best chance this week to have snow issues in the morning on Wednesday. Temperatures during the day will warm up to 40. Thursday, it's back to mostly traceable amounts. Friday's dry. A light shower chance on Saturday. I'm watching the morning hours, but this doesn't look as as dangerous for snow as it did just yesterday. And then dry weather on Sunday and Monday. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. It helps me out. You'll be notified when I post. Thank you for watching. I'm meteorologist Rod Hill.